Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the base 5, or also known as quinary system. There are five digits used in the base 5 system, and they are the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That means that all numbers in this system can be made up using only these digits. The quinary system is something you've likely used before, but not realized that that is what you were doing. It's the system that we use when we count with tally marks, so it consists of groups of five. So we're going to take a look at how base 10, the tally system that we're all pretty familiar with, and base 5 are related. When we start out with 0, 0 in base 10 and 0 in base 5 look much the same. But because base 5 is different than what we consider the standard of base 10, we use the little subscript 5 to notate the difference. Now this is pretty much the same thing until we get past 4. Everything in base 10 and in base 5 looks the same, but base 5 has the subscript. When we get to 5, though, we ran out of digits. In the tally system, we would usually put a diagonal mark through that group of 4 to notate now this is a group of 5. So since we no longer have a digit to work with, we're counting now how many groups of 5 do we have? Well, we have 1 group of 5 and 0 groups of 1. So by moving to the next place value over, we're now counting groups of 5 and groups of 1. So thinking along those lines, the number 6 in base 10, if we think about that in tallies, is 1 group of 5 and 1 group of 1. So that would be 11 base 5. The number 7 in base 10 has 1 group of 5 and 2 groups of 1. So it would be the number 12 base 5. 8, 9, and in fact 10 follow that same pattern, but let's think about 10. 10 we now have 2 groups of 5 and 0 groups of 1, so we would actually get 20 base 5. Now you might be thinking, well what happens if we get more than 4 groups of 5 well, then we would move to a new place value and start counting groups of 5 squared, or 25. So let's think about, now that we know how to count in the quinary system, without counting from 1, is there a systematic way to change a base 10 number into a base 5 number? So we're going to look at this in an example. We're going to convert the number 36 to a number in base 5. In base 5, when we start thinking about our place value, the first number is how many groups of 1 that we have. And we can think of 1 here as really 5 to the 0 power. The next place value over is how many groups of 5, or 5 to the 1 power we have. The next place value over would be groups of 25, or 5 squared. The next one over would be groups of 125 or 5 cubed, and so on. We could continue towards the left in that same pattern, increasing powers of 5 every time. So what we want to do in this first method is look at 36 and think about what's the highest power of 5 that goes into 36. Well, in this case, that is 25. So we're going to go ahead and think of 36 as 25 plus 11. Then we're going to take this 11 and think about it in terms of how many groups of 5 can go into that. Well, there are 2 groups of 5 plus 1 left over. So now we can think about, okay, we have 1 group of 25 plus 2 groups of 5 plus 1 group of 1. So if we take the number of groupings, that will be our number in base 5. So 36 in base 10 
is the number 121 base 5. Okay, I mentioned that there were multiple ways, so let's check out another method. So same question here, but now we want to use a different method. Especially if the number was quite large, it may not be very easy for us to know what power of 5 goes evenly into 36. So what we can do instead is we can take our number and we can just start dividing by our base, in this case 5. So if I divide 5 into 36, well 5 times 7 is 35, so my result would be 7 remainder 1. So I'm going to write my result just like that. How many times does it go in? And then whatever remainder I have outside. I'm then going to repeat that process until I can't anymore. So 5 divided into 7 is 1 with a remainder of 7 minus 5 is 2. Once we're down to a digit here that is less than 5, or less than whatever your base is, then your answer comes from reading your result, starting here and moving up your line. So in this case, 121 base 5, just like we got before. So two different methods, it's just really a preference thing there, but both of those can allow you to convert a number in base 10 to a number in base 5. Alright, let's try that on another one. I'm going to use the method I just showed you to convert 437 in base 10 to a number in base 5. So 437, if we divide that by 5, we get 87 with a remainder of 2. Now continuing, dividing 87 by 5, we get 17, again, with a remainder of 2. 17 is still bigger than 5, so we can keep going. Dividing 17 by 5, we get 3, with, again, a remainder of 2. Now, 3 is smaller than 5, so we are finished there, and we can go ahead and write our answer. Again, we start with this digit and use our remainders all the way up. So 437 is the same thing as 3,222 base 5. Alright, how about, of course, we want to know, can we go the other direction? Can we write a number in base 5 as a number in base 10? Well, certainly we can. We just need to think about what each place value stands for. So remember, our furthest right place value is groups of 1. Our next place value over is groups of 5. And our next place value after that is groups of 5 squared, or 25. So the number 143 base 5 means we have one group of 25 plus four groups of 5 plus three groups of 1. That would be 25 plus 20 plus 3, or 48 in base 10. So the number 143 base 5 is 48 in base 10. Alright, let's try that one more time. This time we have a four digit number. So again, starting from the right hand side, this digit is groups of 1, this dis digit is groups of 5, this digit is groups of 5 squared, or 25, and this digit is groups of 5 cubed, or 125. So that means that the number 2134 in base 5 represents 2 groups of 125 plus 1 groups of 25 plus 3 groups of 5, plus 4 groups of 1. 
that's the same thing as 250 plus 25 plus 15 plus 4 or 294 in base 10. All right, so now that we know how to convert back and forth, our next question has to do with arithmetic. Can we add, subtract, or any other operation in base 5 without having to convert first to base 10 and then back to base 5? Certainly we can. We can use the standard addition algorithm. We just need to remember that here, instead of carrying once we get to groups of 10, here we're going to be carrying once we get to groups of 5. So we just start adding. 4 plus 3 is 7. So 7 is one group of five being carried and two groups of one staying. Or you can think about it as the number seven in base 10 is written as 12 in base five. Now we add the next set of digits. One plus two plus one is four, which is fine. We can just bring that down. And then we wanna make sure that we write our, in, our subscript Five, to note that this is an answer of 42 base 5. Okay, let's try that one more time, make sure we've got it. Looking at 112 base 5 plus 43 base 5, starting with our ones digit, 2 plus 5 means we're going to carry a group of 5, and that leaves 0 groups of 1. Starting in the next one, 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6, which means we have one group of 5 to carry and one group of 1 to carry. Now we have 1 plus 1 is 2, which we can bring down for a final answer of 210 base 5. Now we might be wondering if we can add in base 5, can we also subtract? And the answer is, of course. Here we're going to again use the standard subtraction algorithm, but any time that we're doing any borrowing, we're going to remember that we're borrowing a group of five. So starting over here on the right, when we start to go two minus three, we can't do that. We're going to have to borrow. So we're going to reduce the number of groups of five, and this two is going to be going, going to become one group of five plus two, or we could think seven. So seven minus three makes four. Now moving to the next place value, one minus four we can't do, so we'll go borrow a group of five, leaving three behind. And if we think one group of five plus one, we can think of that as six. Six minus four gives us two, and three minus one, no borrowing needed there, so we have two. So our result from our subtraction here is the number 224 base five. All right guys, well that does it for this video on the base five or quinary system. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.